so today is topic about the lorentz force so first i'll discuss what is the lorentz force so when a charged particle having a charge q moves in a region where both electric field e and magnetic field b exist uh, that charged particle will experience a net force that force is known as the lorentz force <coughs> so I'll write this one when charged particle having charge q moves in a region <coughs> where both electric field e and magnetic field b exist it experience it means the charged particle experience experiences a net force called lorentz force lorentz force uh, f so how do you learn that the Uh, lorentz force f is equal to the force on charged particle due to electric field so you can write lorentz force lorentz force f is equal to for electric <coughs> force on charged particle force on charge you can write charge due to electric field plus force on charge due to magnetic field okay the whatever i told you this one so you can write that so force uh, elect that is you can write that is uh, the f will be equal to uh, electric force plus magnetic force plus magnetic force so electric force we can write as uh, fe and magnetic force we can write as fm <coughs> now we'll calculate the electric force the first one electric force that is f e so say a charged particle q placed in electric field e okay write down let a charged particle q placed in a electric field in an electric field e experience a force <coughs> given by so how much the charged particle will experience a force when it is placed in a electric field that one is you can write f e is equal to q into e e is the electric field f e is the force we know this one from the coulomb's law from the first chapter first unit that is the beginning of the first uh, unit first chapter it is there 
F is equal to Q into E. Okay, and the, what is the direction of this force? The direction of this force is in the same direction of the electric field. So write down direction of the force. Of this force is in the same direction of electric field E. Okay, so this is the thing electric force. So electric force is equal to F is equal to Q into E. So you can put it in a box. What is very important one and use afterwards this one. Now <coughs> we are going to find out the magnetic force. This one also already told. Fm, F suffix in. So what is magnetic force? Magnetic force on a charge Q. You can write down magnetic force On charge Q moving with velocity velocity what velocity V vector V vector at a certain angle theta with magnetic field B vector okay is given by the formula we learned in the last uh, class that one is Fm is equal to Q into V cross B so this is the formula <coughs> now what is the direction of the force that I told you suppose this one is V vector this one is V vector and say this one is your this one is your B vector this is B okay then if you want to find out the force the charge particle is moving in this direction because the V vector so you have to find out the force you have to put your hand in this way you will hold this one in a smallest angle so your thumb your thumb will show the direction of the force that means your FM will be along this along the thumb okay that means the FM will be in this direction in this direction FM okay so this is the thing So now we can keep this in a bracket. This one. Now the Lorentz force is Lorentz force. I told you the Lorentz force is a combination of these two forces. Lorentz force F is equal to QV plus Q V cross B. You can take common Q, you can take common Q, then you can write, I'll put a third bracket here, you can write E vector plus V cross B vector. So this is your F. Lorentz force. You can also put this thing in a, in a bracket in a box. So, we have understood this one very simple thing the charge particles 
फोर्स ऑन ए चार्ज पार्टिकल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फोर्स ऑन चार्ज पार्टिकल ड्यू टू द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विल बी द लॉरेंस फोर्स ओके सो टूडे इज अप टू दिस नेक्स्ट क्लास विल कंटिन्यू विथ द मैग्नेटिक फोर्स ऑन ए कारेंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर placed in a uniform electric field so so far we studied about the charge on a current car- uh, uh, charge placed in a electric field and magnetic field now we'll think about the entire current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field how much force that conductor will experience so we'll discuss in the next class so thank you very much